Hello everybody and welcome to a new lesson. Uh, today we're going to study um, the rind papyrus. The rind papyrus is one of the best examples of ancient Egyptian mathematics. It's named after Alexander Rind, a Scottish Egyptologist. He purchased the papyrus in 1858. The papyrus has three sections, one about arithmetics, a second about geometry, and another one uh, with miscellaneous topics. Today we're going to study problem number 41. Uh, that's a geometry problem. The problem says, find the volume of a cylindrical granary of diameter 9 and height 10. So first we're going to start with the modern solution to the problem. Uh, so it consists in computing the volume of a cylinder. We all know that the volume of cylinders is uh, the area of a circle on top times the height. So in this instance, the uh, diameter of the circle on top is 9, which means that the radius is 4.5. So we use uh, the equation pi times r uh, square. So r is 4.5. 4.5 square is 20.25. You multiply it by pi and you get the result 63.62. Now all we have to do is multiply the area by the height. The height of the cylinder is 10. So basically the volume of the cylinder is 636. So that's the modern solution. Let's now look at the way it was solved in the original papyrus. So problem number 41. It says find the volume of a cylindrical granary of diameter 9 and height 10. Take away 1 ninth of 9. And that means 1. The remainder is 8. Multiply 8 times 8. It makes 64. Multiply the 64 by 10. It makes 640 cubed cubits. Add half of it to the total, it makes 960. That's the content in Khar. Take 120th of 960, it gives you 48. It means there is 4800 quadruple hecat in the cylinder. This might look uh, a little bit tough. Uh, so now we're going to try to break down all the steps they've used in the papyrus to solve this problem. 